February 15, Saturday of the fifth week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. In those days when there again was a great crowd without anything to eat, Jesus summoned the disciples and said, My heart is moved with pity for the crowd because they have been with me now for three days and have nothing to eat. If I send them away hungry to their homes, they will collapse on the way, and some of them have come a great distance. His disciples answered him, Where can anyone get enough bread to satisfy them here in this deserted place? Still he asked them, How many loaves do you have? They replied, Seven. He ordered a crowd to sit down on the ground, then taking the seven loaves, he gave thanks, broke them, and gave them to his disciples to distribute. And they distributed them to the crowd. They also had a fish. He said the blessing over them and ordered them distributed also. They ate and were satisfied. They picked up the fragments left over seven baskets. There were about 4,000 people. He dismissed them and got into the boat with his disciples and came to the region of Dal Madnuta. The Gospel of the Lord Enough bread to satisfy Among the people of Jesus' time, bread is the essential basic food. To eat bread is to have a meal. The poor eat bread made of barley which managed to survive heat and water shortage better than wheat and ripens in less time. The well-to-do usually eat wheat bread. Fish is also common derived from the Lake Tiberias or from the Mediterranean Sea. Jesus' multiplication of the loaves and fish to feed the hungry crowd has a parallel account in the story of Elisha's feeding of 100 men in 2 Kings 4, 24-44. Elisha's servant voices out an impossibility. How can 100 people be satisfied with 20 barley loaves? The disciples tells Jesus that 5 loaves and 2 fish are all they have. The parallelism tells us that with Jesus, the time of miracles associated with the prophet Elijah and Elisha has come again.